Let's get to Mike Halgren, who is live in Ocean City. Officials had told us stay off the beach. Let's see how things are out there. How are conditions, Mike? Hey, Lynn and Tim, it's not as bad as it was earlier. However, we're still feeling the wind gusts, and the wind has really been the story here. We've seen some property damage, some roofs, uh, some damage to that. Uh, you've shown some pictures of Jolly Roger Amusement Park, L little things like that around here. The worst damage that we've seen was uh, elsewhere on the eastern shore, Mardella Springs, that tornado that touched down, and they're still investigating that, but that caused a lot of property damage. Let's take a look at the ocean right now, and you can see uh, the Pretty big waves out here, uh, even at this hour right now, and it's good reason that the mayor says to stay off the beach today, because it, it can be dangerous out there. You're going to have rip currents for days to come, and they're advising you when a lifeguard is not in the chair, don't go out on the beach, don't go into the water. Although we have seen a few people out here just observing things, especially when we see a little lull in the storm here. But yeah, really the worst damage uh, that we've seen was the tornado damage and homes, uh, one home that was ripped off its foundation. We've seen uh, other damage in that Mar Mardella Springs area. And I was looking on Twitter, someone says that their mother owns the home that, that was off of its foundation, that she was banged up, but she's okay, but the house is a loss. Um, we have seen numerous reports of trees and power lines down throughout the eastern shore, and that's why local officials are saying if you don't have to drive, don't do it. We've seen some power lines down here. Uh, our lights flickered here where I am. However, we never lost power, but many have. More than 50,000 people on the Delmarva Peninsula have lost power because of this storm. And again, it is moving fast. I can tell you it was just quite a change from what we saw this morning uh, as this just came in, we had a, a calm moment, and then it barreled through, and we saw those strong winds, wind gusts above 70 miles an hour. That's what caused some of the property damage that we're seeing. Uh, the good news is no major injuries that we've learned about in our area, but this is still ongoing. We hope it'll be over soon, but we're still feeling the winds from this storm. Mike, thank you so much.